parents know when it comes to summertime, it can be a challenge to keep the kids kind of engaged. But what better way to do that than with an adorable pet? Exactly. Great idea. And the Humane Society of Southern Arizona offers an amazing summer camp every summer. It's for kids ages 6 to 14 years old. And here to tell us a little more about this wonderful program is Samantha Nichols and the Manager of Education for the Humane Society, Inga. Ladies, welcome to the show. Thank you. Now, Sam, you have a beautiful um, accessory today. <laughs> Who nice. is this on your lap? This is Timmy. He's a three-year-old pit bull mix. He's obviously very cute. I mean, that's <laughs> evident. Um, he's super affectionate likes to snuggle. Um, he came to us in November of last year, so he's been with us for a while. Um, he was found as a stray, so we don't know a whole lot about his background, but we do know that he is really sweet. Um, he gets along well with everyone, um, and then he needs a kind of a home that can match his energy level so he can get plenty of exercise. Now, of course, we're, we want to find Timmy a great home, and I'm sure there's going to be animals just like Timmy that are going to be available for the kids to kind of hang out with and uh, do everything for at the summer camp, right? Absolutely. So typically the animals that we have um, are litters of kittens that need to be fostered, so they need time for development and growth and socialization. And then we also have um, our smaller companion animals like guinea pigs and rabbits and things, those kinds of animals. And then um, we actually don't use our shelter dogs. Um, we bring up our pet therapy dogs um, with their handlers. So it's just more predictable with those animals and the kids can be running around crazy and we know all of the history on those pets. Um, but we do have that whole kind of menagerie and array of animals <laughs> and some ball pythons um, that we use for our education programs. Yeah. Well, I have two kids at home and this actually sounds like a dream right yeah. now. Can you tell us a little bit about the interaction that the kids will have with the animals and maybe some of the things that they'll be learning? Absolutely. So each camp it has a different theme. We do camps for kids 6 to 8, 9 to 11, and 12 to 14, and they're all themed different. But the overall theme for, the, the one thing that's in all of them is the animal care, um, socialization. So the kids spend a minimum of three hours a day caring for the animals that we have at the facility, um, or at our camp facility. So an hour and a half in the morning when they first get to camp and an hour and a half in the afternoon when they, but right before they leave. And so they have to clean their cages, feed them, give them their um, veggies for the mm -hmm. smaller animals. Um, and it's really helping to socialize those animals, give them that time to grow, um, help build their self-esteem for those that are a little bit more shy and haven't ha had a lot of human interactions. And then for the kids, it's teaching them that animals you know, the responsibility of, of getting an animal and then keeping it forever, it's not something that we should just do on impulse, right? It requires a lot of work, and when we decide to get an, a pet, um, it's a real, it's a family decision. It's not just the kids pestering, like, I want an animal, I want an animal, and then after a couple of days, like a toy, the thrill wears off. Um, so they do, they learn how to care for those pets um, and make that commitment and it helps build compassion and empathy and, and also teaches kids how to be responsible. So it's a really good kind of chore to have kids do. Um, so that they learn that responsibility. And then aside from that, um, the animal care, we do lessons. So typically like 45 to an hour long lesson plans on the theme. And then we always tie that in with either a physical activity or a craft. Um, so the camps are four days, four day long programs, uh, Monday through Thursday from nine to three. And when does reg registration start? It starts on April sixth. Okay. Right now we're in our member registration. So if anybody wants to sign up, we are. Uh, we have a club called the Hand and Paw Kids Club for kids ages six to fourteen, and we do monthly events. And those members um, can sign up early. And before we let you go, Sam, do you have any specials going on right now at the Humane Society? Uh, quite a lot. You know, we've got our 85705 special, of course, which is free spay and neuter for dogs in that area code. Um, other than that, we've got POD coming up, which is putting on the dogs. That's going to be May 1st. You want to reserve your spot and get your ticket. Um, you can do that online. We've got a couple things for Inge, and she's got um, a pet safety, uh, first aid and safety. We've got a rattlesnake avoidance class. So we've got a lot going on. Um, and then we've got Arizona Gives Day, which is pretty soon here. So I think that's on April 7th. So you you can do that all online and then um, adopt love, adopt local. I love that. And we're going to give all the information again for the summer camp. Ladies, thank you hey, thank so much you. for joining us, Timmy, you as well. <laughs> Registration for the summer camp starts March 30th for members and April 6th for non members. The camp itself runs from June 1st through the end of July. For more information, the Humane Society, of course, you can always give them a call at 327 6088 or log on to hssaz.org.